Welcome to Upgrade, I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today I bring up the Shiba air conditioner. It's three in one, um, it's pretty much good for a lot of little areas. This is up to 250 square feet, really coverage. Has one year warranty, um, has a remote control, LCD screen. Now they do have a different version of it, a higher version, another brand, and more voltage on the other one, but this one has uh, only a remote control. The other one had a remote control plus accessing to your phone. You can do that. But we end up getting the cheaper version because really who needs um, uh, uh, over the internet control? I mean, unless you have a Lexus and Google and stuff like that, that'll be good. But, you know, I don't need that fancy stuff. You know, save myself a hundred bucks because it does cost a hundred dollars more. It's probably worked about the same. Uh, same details and everything other than the extended features that it has but we're gonna take take a look at it we're gonna test it out see if it's even worth it so right now it was about 350 for this one they they're selling out because it is hot right now seasons really summer's coming here in california it gets really hot i do have a central air conditioner in my home but i have this one room that does not have any air conditioner it gets super hot and we're gonna put it to test we're gonna run it through the window and see how well it works and see how if it's even worth it so 250 feet square foot feet um i 12 by by 20 pretty much coverage um i have no issue covering that part so let's go ahead i got the perfect room right there for here and we're gonna test it out so see if you guys have been worth it so let me know And uh, a warning label here that this could cause fires. So be careful not to leave it unattended. That's why I didn't want to get that Google system because I want to do manually set up. I don't want the system to automatically turn on just because it gets hot, certain degrees. I mean, I want to be supervising it. I always supervise electronics that are, you're not familiar with or you don't know if the system is short circuit uh, because of your electrical problem or because this is a high voltage system. It's gonna take, uh, it's gonna cost you every monthly. And when you see a plug this big, you know it's gonna cost you. So there's a reset button here and there's a power button. And inside there is a fuse button to a fuse, all right? Uh, people throw these away, not knowing that you could replace a fuse because it's short circuits. You could unlock them right here. There's four of them and there's a fuse in there, all right? So very important, you got to drain down here and this is when it gets too full and you need to drain it. But you got an additional drain here and this one right here is basically if you have a bucket or somewhere to drain the water out and they give you a little, little tiny little holes that you plug in here. It's a see-through. You plug it in here and you put a bucket if you want or you could drain this out to the window if you can. Um, they have two filter systems in here. There's one right here. Uh, follow the instructions how to clean them. All right, make sure you air them out pretty good uh, Besides this one. Let's move this on the side. There is another one right here And this is the other one that you need to clean out There it is If you can see it, it's uh, kind of like a see-through one and this is like a little spring I'm not gonna get the whole thing out, but basically you just clean it out air it out if you can uh, Some of it is not washable or right? make sure you don't wash some of it because um, you can a lot of moisture in some of the circuits. So make sure you follow the instruction read the instructions it's Not an intake or anything like that. This is actually to put the cord Storage, that's what it is for you just basically just lock it in there push it in there in there and it's locked and you can store it in um, This is just to wrap the cord around But I am gonna put a bucket like I said to drain some of the water out and see how much water it takes it for a couple hours We're gonna use this sucker. So let's go ahead and sit out and set up the window as you can see, I got a large window, all right? Large window, all right? But they give extensive um, amount of, um, of expanders, you know? So this is enough for the actual air conditioner. Now the intake, I'm gonna put it on the bottom corner there. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Plug in one end here, all right, in the window. And then the other end, which I'm holding here, it's gonna go to the air conditioner. So let's do that. So basically, you just drop it in there. And I am gonna put another stopper in the bottom. Lock it in. Important guys that uh, you need to be aware that besides the cap that you take off, there's a plug, right? And this plug was 
in here so make sure you don't turn it on without removing this cap i'm gonna put a bucket to it and then um make sure when you're putting it on that it locks in the top too because if this is loose the air is not going to float in there and it could be a toxic thing so make sure it's locked in the bottom all the little hinges if you can see it goes all the way up to the window and it's not even hit the window so i could close the window anytime really oh we got it on uh let me see mold oh look at this look at that we are in business in here. Um, we do have the bucket here that I just put it temporary to see how much drainage it fills up. And um, I might get a longer extension um, hose because I don't like it here. Uh, it's an offensive too, just to let you guys know. It does come off, it, real simple. All right, we're gonna do a noise test. This is the, this is just the fan, all right? that a little bit back air conditioner noise now Look how much cold air you're getting out of here. It's getting cold, really cold fast. So it's work. It seems like it's working. Look at that. Beautiful. And I like the air distribution of it. We can see this is the model here. But itself, it's cooling out the whole room. I feel it. This is my monitor here. So but look how much cold air is coming out of there. Really good cold air. You get a little closer here so you guys can see a little bit better. System's moving up and down. It's about 50s right now, so it is distributing good air. Oh well, so the machine is a little loud. You know, you got to get used to noise. Plus, you have to do an extra labor, which you have to put that ventilation, the, the in, intake to get some air out. And then on top of that, you got to distribute, make sure the water actually drains properly. So the water won't start draining until you turn it off, or sometimes it starts draining during the system now evaporation does happen just like a refrigerator all right it does happen that sometimes you might not even need to do to drain the water but if it's not too hot enough or not too much air coming in then you're going to distribute the water now the controller took a while to even program but there's some settings in there how to set it up uh, you hold down the power button for 10 seconds you hold, you turn on the control and it picks up so if you're not familiar with it look at the manual it has instructions how to do that now maintenance on this is another the part that you're gonna need to contribute you need to start uh, memorizing how to do certain things so you got to check the filter system if, especially if you have a dusty area now on top of that there's a maintenance um, setup how to maintenance and clean it up uh, look at your manual if you guys are not familiar with it so setting up is not an easy task you do need a window the actual vent is not too long i mean i'm getting around seven foot on it that's pretty much it uh, from distributing from the wall to the to the window to the actual unit it's about seven to ten feet all right um, they do have extensions for it you can buy them online and also on top of that the distribution of the actual water vent the actual pipe that you see it on there it, it you could actually extend that a little longer to so you could have it somewhere else or you could even have it coming out of your window too so just be be aware of all those things before you buy something like this it gets a little loud if you're used to this kind of noise and you can sleep on it it's all well worth it now distributing the air around this room i do have a fan on the top the ceiling it's a ceiling fan uh, I normally use that just to cool myself down if it's not too hot, you know, just get some air extra. But this one actually distributes the air. I can feel the air everywhere now that this is the system is working. But for 250 square foot, it's perfect. Uh, anything higher than that, you need a higher voltage. Uh, if you run out of power or something happens that it shuts off, 
Uh, it could be a fuse. The fuse is in inserted in the actual power cord, but make sure you have the adapters. Uh, make sure your fuse box is well aware that you're gonna be connecting something as powerful as this. Now, before the older ones were a lot louder, larger. Now, this is a slimmed down version. So if you guys like stuff like this, let me know. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and we're out.